Hello everyone, welcome to a computer science class. I am Manjusha, faculty of IT department working at Silver Hills Public School Calicut. I will be discussing the topic input, processing and output devices. What are the learning objective of this topic? These are the learning objectives, input devices, processing device and output devices. Before I begin the section, I would like to ask a simple question. Are you ready? What is a computer? It's a very simple question. What is the answer? Correct. A computer is an electronic machine, right? Then how does a computer work? Every computer operation can be divided into three groups that is input, process and output. Now what is input? Input means whatever you given in the computer that is called input. For example, when you are given in the form of documents, email, videos or songs that is called for input. See the definition what is an input device? The devices through which we enter data and instructions are called input devices. The most commonly used input device is the keyboard. The other examples input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone and light pen. Then now I will explain what are the common input devices are one by one. The first device is keyboard. Then what is a keyboard? Keyboard is an input device. It look like a typewriter. See the figure over here. Now the keyboard is having small small buttons. These buttons are called keys. Then the keys are classified into four groups that is the first one is alphabet keys start from A to Z, numeric keys start from 0 to 9, then function keys start from F1 to F12. The fourth one is special keys, enter key, shift key, control key, backspace key and delete key. The next input device is mouse. What is a mouse? A mouse is an input device. It is a handheld pointing device. The mouse has two buttons, left button and right button. The middle wheel is called scroll wheel. The other input device is microphone. What is a microphone? What is the use of microphone? A microphone is an input device. It helps us to give input to a computer in the form of sound or voice. What is the use of this microphone? It is mainly used for recording sounds. Then other input devices, light pen. Light pen is an pen like pointing device. Light pen is used to select objects on the display screen and to draw pictures directly on the screen. For example, I have one light pen, how to write on the screen, just I will show you. Yeah, the next one, next category of device is processing device that is CPU. Then CPU is the main important part of the computer, without CPU the computer is not working. Then CPU is the brain of the computer, CPU stands for central processing unit. The main functions of CPU, CPU process and stores the information, perform calculations and sends the result to the output devices. Then the CPU is made up of three main parts that is memory unit, control unit, arithmetic and logical unit. One by one what are the functions of these units? The first one is memory unit. 
memory unit stores all the data and information. The second thing is control unit. Control unit like a traffic police, it controls all the operations of a computer system. Then third is arithmetic and logical unit. This unit perform all the calculations like addition, subtraction, multiply and division and the logical unit means like greater than, less than, equal and not equal to. Then the last categories of devices is output devices. What is output? After processing your work, the final result displayed on the monitor is called output. What is the definition of output device? Look at this here. Output devices are used to display the data entered into the computer and finally the result is getting displayed on the screen. The most commonly output device is an monitor. The other output devices are the first one is monitor. What is a monitor? Monitor look like a television. See the figure? It displays the data result on the screen. The output we get through the monitor is a soft copy. Then what are the three types of monitors? The first one is CRT, second is a LCD and third is LED. The next output device is a printer. Printer is an output device. Printer prints the output onto the paper. Look at this one. This is a hard copy. The printed copy is called an hard copy. Now, the most commonly used printers are, there are three printers are here. The first one is dot matrix printer, the second is an laser printer and the third is inkjet printer. The, the last output device is a speaker. Then what is the use of speaker? Speakers are used to listen to music and sound effect from the computer. Now, let us do a small worksheet. It is a very simple worksheet. The first question is, dash is a handheld pointing device. The answer is mouse, M O U S E, correct. The second one is, MU stands for dash, answer is memory unit, M E M O R Y memory then U N I T unit then the third is dash looks like a typewriter the answer is keyboard K E Y B O A R D keyboard then the fourth is CPU stands for, it's a very simple answer, answer is, yes, correct, central, C, E, N, T, R, A, L, central, P stands for processing, P, R, O, C, E, S, S, I, N, G, processing, U stands for unit, U, N, I, T, unit. Then the last question is fifth one, the printed copy is called the dash. What is the answer? Hard copy, H, A, R, D, C, O, P, Y, hard copy, that is all. Let us have a recap of the sessions learned. These are the recap. The first point, a computer system performs three basic functions that is input, process and output. Second point, a computer system is made up of three types of devices that is input devices, processing device and output devices. The third is we enter data and instructions into the computer that is an input. Fourth point, we get after processing that is output. With this we have 
come to an end of this section. Thank you.